Hello again. Now we're on to 5.2 still, activity 5.2, prac 5.2, properties of the elements. We're now going to be looking at the strength of all of these samples and I'm going to try and bend or crumple them. Um, so what happens when I get the uh, sulphur? This is the sulphur sample and hmm, that's quite strong. I can't bend it. I can't even crumble that. So that's I feel like I could break it a little bit. There's definitely some coming off in my fingers, but that is quite tough, quite strong, crumbly if anything, but won't break, won't bend. So that's the sulfur sample. Um, let's have a look at the aluminium sample. Yes, it is very thin, but I think we're all familiar with aluminium. Very bendable. It's quite easy to tear. Um, light, but strong this way, but I can bend it easily that way. You're familiar with that. I'm going to leave carbon till last because it's the dirtiest. And the silicon, very flexible, very easily manipulated. I could bend that in half if I wanted. Um, no problem there. So bendy, flexy, stretchy, takes its original shape again. Look at aluminium. It does not take its original shape. Once I bend it, it stays bent. So that might be a key difference between aluminium and silicon. Um, Moving on to the tin, easily bendable, similar to the aluminium, keeps its shape when bent, doesn't crumble, or well, I can't really tear it as easily as aluminium, so not really tearable but definitely bendable. Again, you should be writing down all these properties in your results table that you have in your book or online. We have the zinc sample. Uh, let's have a look. Bendable, but oh, it's quite a bit stiffer than the tin or the aluminium. I don't think I'll be able to rip this one, no. Definitely bendable, but keeps its shape, and that's quite strong. We have the lead sample, and this is lead foil, quite thin, and that is so easily bendable. I can just do that with one finger, almost more easy than the aluminium. So very bendable there, keeps its shape of course. Um, could I tear it? Oh yes, I can quite easily. So that's the lead sample there, easily bent doesn't crumble. The magnesium sample, easily bent, quite stiff, similar to the zinc, keeps its shape. Okay, tears, mm, a little bit, yeah I can tear it there with some effort. So that's the magnesium. Iron, this is wire, so of course you might think it's not quite easy to bend and it is. A little bit stiff, but easily bent, keeps its shape, doesn't crumble, doesn't tear, that's the iron. And last of all, of course, we have the carbon. Um, let's have a look to see if it bends or broke, well, just broke in my fingers. And you can see all of the black coming off on my fingers there. So very crumbly, easily broken, not bendy at all. So that's carbon. So that concludes the bending and the texture of the properties. The Elements 5.2, that was video 3.